Okay, so today's video, I'm going to take apart a DVLA Phantom Gold. It's about a 3,000 US dollar speaker. Um, it dropped, it's pretty heavy, so it broke. And when I contacted DVLA, they said, no, there's a hermetic seal. It's broken, it's irreparable. You have to replace the whole speaker. I'm here to show you that is completely and utterly untrue. So let's start with what I have done and we'll begin from, we'll start from the beginning. This is your subwoofer that moves in and out. This is a little soft cap over there and this is your rose gold panel. Okay, this just peels off and you put a little screwdriver underneath here, okay, underneath one of these things and you pull it off. But just be careful with this so you don't damage it, okay. So what then, I've already done it, so I know what I'm talking about. So then you take it from that side, you turn it around, I've taken this off. And inside here is a 13 millimeter bolt. So you basically unscrew that and you take this panel off. It's quite easy. You just need a basic screwdriver or your fingers and it's held on by rubber stoppers and that comes off. And then there is a hole here somewhere, I would say, yep, that's it. And that holds an eight millimeter nut. So you undo that and you undo that, which I'm going to do right now. So this is the, and it's quite magnetic. All right, so I'm going to turn it around, just undo it. As I said, it's, it's pretty magnetic. <laughs> okay, so now we can't get this out. Uh, unless you, yeah, there we go. So you unscrew this, okay? It stays on because of the magnetic nature. So you unscrew that, okay? So that bolt is out, and this bolt I've already taken out just to save some time. So then you spend a lot of time trying to work out how to open this. It's quite simple. Uh, about five millimeters up from here, you put a screwdriver in and it, you feel as though you're gonna damage it, but you're not. So you just push it in gently and you turn it. And this then separates the two halves. You start to pull it apart, okay? And don't worry, you won't break any wires because this piece comes off it's quite heavy because it holds the sub okay and there's the, the side so I'm going to I'm just going to move this over here don't worry this is the broken speaker um, and you can see here at the top here are two those are two female uh, ports and those are the two pins that plug this is the subwoofer in so those two come out of there to power the subwoofer. And then the sub does this uh, movement that you see when you play your speaker. So I don't know whether that's moving for you. There we go, like that. So that moves. And all this talk about hermetic seal is absolute nonsense because that is open to the air. You can put your finger in there. There's no seal on this whatsoever. There's only this, which I mistakenly, mistakenly removed. So I'll just show you what I did. But the thing, the way to uh, get rid of your sub or to remove your sub is to take a six pointed star socket and there are four screws. You basically undo them like this and you'll see they come off pretty easy and these come off pretty easy as well and oops the sub comes out there's the sub okay so that's that there so there is your one side that fits onto there so this is all intact, this is all intact. So to, granted everything inside is probably difficult to repair electronically, 
But if it's just your sub that's broken, you only have to do this, and they only have to replace this. There is no break in any hermetic seal. In fact, I don't even believe there is a hermetic seal in here, but uh, let's just leave DVLA with that. Um, but for the, the price that they want, it's 450 euros uh, for what they call DVA life, which is just a complete rip because you could probably send this in and if they would be so kind to of supply this part, you would be able to replace your sub and on you go with a speaker that you've already paid $3,000 for. They want you to pay a further 450 euros just to open it up, which I've done now. This is not a 450 euro exercise. So anyway, there's the speaker, it's done. So I, by mistake, because I was learning so I could teach everybody else, I put a screwdriver in here and I lifted this unit off. And as you can see, the, this is the extent of the one metric ton seal. There's no one metric ton seal here. I don't see it. I don't see how it possibly can be. This is the thing that moves up and down. That magnet stays permanent. You can see there is a magnet in there because that is how it all works. So when that is on with this, that is when this is in there, it forms quite a strong magnet. So I have broken that and that, and they attach themselves to this, which attaches itself to that. So I've tried to plug in, that's another thing, uh, just let's put this half over here. This is the power lead, which simply, uh, sorry, uh, pulls straight out. That just it pulls straight out here. Okay, so there's no fancy thing to that. It's a normal kettle plug. So you can do it, dispense with that because it comes with a funny shaped plug. You can put any kettle plug that goes into the back of a computer. And I've got one here and I use that to power up this. But the only problem I have now is I've powered it up. Bluetooth works, Bluetooth recognizes, little LEDs go on inside, but that initiation motion of the two speakers going in and out does not happen and i play the music and there's no sound coming out of it so it definitely needs this speaker probably to connect the circuit so a good electronics expert which i'm going to try and be myself i'm going to reconnect this speaker measure the voltage going across, connect it all up and then put the sound on and measure the voltage coming out of this that goes into this so that I can know what, how to bridge this out. So I, that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, the idea behind the video is to show you that there's absolutely no secret to the DVLA. And this piece, this piece is that big rubber foot that just peels out from underneath. When you turn it upside down, I can show you quickly. If you turn it upside down, that is there and you can hear this I've just pushed the speaker in with my hands and it's now coming out you can put your hands in here and you can push it there's no hermetic seal that I can see at all um, I'm not sure whether this piece here when it goes on to there that might be uh, constitute some form of a seal but you can see there's nothing much going on there. So this is just the bolt. That's where the bolt came from, this. So there's holes all over this. So you can still, no matter how tight you make that, you can hear it squishing. So it does squish anyway. So what I'm gonna do is bridge that out and then possibly seal that and then play it with the tweeter and the sub. Incidentally, this tweeter is just a magnetic piece of metal that comes off of your fingernail. So don't spend too much time trying to get that off. Leave it in place because it's all part of the aluminium casing. But that's it. That's how you take it apart. Very easy. This is, again, about 10 mils back from this piece. And that's where you put your screwdriver, you turn it, and the whole thing comes apart. That's the end of my video to show you that it's all no hermetic seals, and it's pretty simple to take apart. Thanks.